Hello, this is a complete tutorial about how to create your own Minecraft server using 100% free VPS. If you are a beginner no worries, you able to set up this server. You don't have to have a piece of knowledge about coding. Please, follow the steps correctly. All the codes and guidelines are in the description. Let's go to the process. First step. Create VM instance and set up firewall. You have to register on Oracle Cloud. I am not showing the steps of registration. If you have any difficulty registering on Oracle, watch the first part of this video. I will put the link in the description. After you are done with registration, you can follow these steps. In your Oracle dashboard, click the Create a VM Instance button. Name it, use any name you prefer. Click Edit under Configure and Placement Hardware. To change the OS, click the Change Image button and select Oracle Linux 7.8 as your OS. Under Network Configuration, check whether you select New Virtual Cloud Network. You have to add an SSH key for the instance. Select Paste Public Key to add the SSH key. You have to install Putty Key app to generate and connect to the VPS. Check the description for the download link. After installation of the Putty app, open Putty Key Gen. Click the Generate button then, move your cursor in this area. Copy the SSH key and paste it. Save the private key in a safe place, it is necessary to connect the VM instance. Click Create button to deploy the VM instance. It may take few seconds. While VPS deploying, set up the firewall rules for Minecraft. Under Primary VNIC, open the subnet link in a new tab. Then click on your security list. Now, click Add Ingress Rules to add new firewall rules. Add this IP as Source IP, it will allow all IP ranges to connect on your Minecraft. Add 25565 as the destination port. Add another Ingress Rule by clicking this button. Use the same IP range as above. Change the IP protocol to UDP and add the same destination port as above. After that, click Add Ingress Rules to add the new rules. Now, go back to your VM instance. You can see it is running now. Let's go to the next step. Second step. Set up and install Minecraft server. Open the Putty app and your public IP address is the hostname. Under SSH click Auth to add the private key that you previously saved. Now go back to the Session tab and save your session using any name. Then you able to connect it again without entering credentials again. Click open to enter the terminal window. Login as OPC. The VM needs to have Java installed, so let's do that first. Run the following commands, one at a time, from your SSH terminal. You can find all the commands and guidelines in the description down below. Use this command next. Now, install Java using this command. Type Y to proceed. Now we need to download the Minecraft server software. You can get that from Minecraft official website. Check the guide for the link. You have to copy the link location type widget and paste your copied URL to download the server. Next, try to run the server using this. It should fail the first time you try to run it, and it will look like this. Use this command to edit the EULA file. Change the false value is true. Then save it using Ctrl plus X, then type Y and hit Enter. Before we start the server again, let's open the Minecraft port in the Linux firewall. Use this command to open the TCP port. 
then open the UDP port as well. Reload the firewall to make the changes happen. As the Minecraft server has an interactive console, it should be accessible even when the SSH console has been closed in between. For that install the screen using this command. Type Y to proceed. Then open a new screen using this code. Now you can start the server again within a new screen. You can see at this time, it is successfully started. Close the terminal window, we will come back again. Fourth step. Download and install Minecraft Launcher. I use T-Launcher for this. You have to download it from the official website. Check the guide for the download link. After download, it installs the setup on your PC. You have to install Java as well. I will speed up the process. I am sure you can do it without any help. If you face any problem, please leave a comment below. Fifth step. Open client firewall. You have to open the firewall for Java. To do that, open the control panel of your Windows PC. Now click Windows Defender Firewall. You can use a search box to get this. Click this link at the left upper corner to allow your Java apps. Then click the Change Settings button. Score down the list and find Java Platform SE Binary, then click all the boxes here. Allow both private and public networks. Now click the OK button to save the changes. Sixth step. Launch Minecraft and play. Open Minecraft Launcher on your desktop. Use the latest version and enter any name as your username. It will trigger another installation. Wait until it finished. You can see the Minecraft launcher here. Click multiplayer to add your server. Then click the add server button. Name your server and enter your public IP as the server address. Now click the join the server button. Here is your Minecraft server. Invite your friends and enjoy yourself with them. If you have any problem regarding this, please feel free to leave a comment. This video is helpful to leave a like, share it with your friends. Subscribe to the channel for more awesome content like this. Thank you for watching my next tuts. Be safe and enjoy it.